Give me a pump. All the way to Australia from Sydney. We got the OWO box, or at least that's what it looks like. Let's check the other side. Wine delivery service. So that's how it got through customs. Or at least, I don't know. Maybe that's what caused them to handle it so well. Although it looks like it's been through a journey. Check this side out. OWO box again. Zang! Them kangaroos in Australia been kicking this or something. Yeah, this thing's been through. Been through something. Yo, box cutting alpha. So I usually just perforate it manually like this. And then I can just rip it off. Yeah, it just comes off clean. This is the case that I bought separately. This. I think it, I think it costs quite a bit. Like a hefty amount. Like maybe like, bro, I swear this thing costs like a hundred bucks. Plus shipping maybe. Or maybe shipping wasn't included. I don't remember. This thing might be made out of glass. I don't even remember. Like, it's been so long. Holy moly. Dang, man. Oh no, it's acrylic. It's acrylic. So it looks like the small box on top was the box for the figure itself. And the bottom box is for the, the display that I bought. It looks like it came with a lot of um, super large, like the giant air bubbles. I mean, what do you call these things again? Air bubbles, right? What the heck? These things are strong, bro. These things don't pop like normal ones. These ones are built different. All right, so this is the actual figure covered with the bubble wrap that you can actually pop. And they kind of just came with these like rolls of the big bubble wrap. It comes with some like, I don't even know, some type of like Evangelion, uh, Spear of like Longevity or whatever this is called, bookmark. I don't really care about. Sticker or something. Oh, frick. What the heck is this? Chup Chops. Bro, like what is this, man? Chup Chops. I don't even know what this is. Some type of lollipop, I guess. All right, so this thing is actually pretty well packaged. It came with even these thingamajigs that kind of go like this. Corner protectors. Absolutely amazing. Hatsune Miku 1 7th scale pre-painted figure. Inside, some cherry blossom. The back. My ethos, the top, got the, some type of certificate of authenticity. Pretty standard packaging, just comes with a fan hand and blister thingy, plastic. There's only one thing you can really do, replace the hand with the fan hand. I remember people saying that there was like some special like background hidden here, but I don't see anything. I must have got ripped off. Maybe it's because I bought the case. So, so I just opened the packaging for the case and like it does not look good. I see a piece of something here, fell off I guess, that doesn't look good, that looks like it came out of this. Unfortunately there's more that is actually broken. This piece, it's actually completely off, like this 3D printing or whatever, however they made this, this doesn't look like the best job honestly. Alright. Let's get this over quickly. I started this unboxing and unpackaging and whatnot early in the day, and it's like 3 a.m. or something, like some freaking God knows how late time. I got my facial hair back, or it's starting to pop back already. So my ethos, Hatsune Miku, one seven scale figure. This was definitely one of the most highly anticipated anime figures of the last, I want to say like, recent history. It's definitely trending on my figure collection and it's been that way for quite a while. So a bit about my ethos, they're a Chinese manufacturer of anime figures. Not just anime figures, they're most, I think they mostly do like Chinese IP, like, you know, those Chinese games and stuff that I don't, I have no idea about them, to be honest. I think they make like a Kakeguri figure, which is pretty nice too. But the main thing about them is that they have really good detail for the price. But they're, they're amazing for the price at retail. So Miku, or you already know about Miku, which is a vocal oil virtual idol thing, everyone knows her. All right, so I heard about this figure like almost two years ago, I swear, like one and a half years ago or something is when I pre-ordered it, immediately after seeing it on like my figure collection or Reddit or something. And you had to do this on Taobao. So people make guides, but websites in Chinese. Taobao, for people that don't know, it's like Alibaba. I don't know what it is, honestly. I think it's like some wholesale site. No, no, it's a, 
Alibaba's the wholesale site. Taobao's like the Amazon. Anyways, it was like kind of complicated. There was a lot of options. It looks like there's like pre-order bonuses and you could get things like this case. Um, I think there were supposed to be like this included um, like divider, privacy curtain, Asian thing that would have been really awesome, but I don't think I got it. So I guess maybe I should have done Taobao. But unfortunately, I used to go toys, which I swear I paid way too much for. Like I'm looking at the aftermarket prices right now. So I got this at the pre-order prices technically. And I don't know why mine cost it so much, but I think it was with the case plus the shipping that increased the price. But I'm pretty sure I had a I had a lot of chances to just buy this. Like I could have pre-ordered it through Connie Hobby on Amazon, which I think they're still selling it right now at like similar prices to what I pre-ordered it to. So, and you get that like pretty quick too. I took forever to get mine. I don't know when this video is gonna come up, but I just watched like the latest episode of Summertime Render. So, whenever that is, I guess. What day is it? Oh, it's June 19th. Yeah. No, it's not June 19th. That's, that's the Monday. Thing. So it's, it's stuck in customs in Australia for some reason due to this case, or I don't know what it's due to, but this case was the reason why it was taking forever. So let's talk about the packaging. Miku, unlike others, at outside was all plastic. Normally anime figures, they have like this cardboard box. Like I'm just looking at all these. Yeah, there's like cardboard. And then there's plastic for the opening where you look at it. But this one, it was pretty much all plastic. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think that's maybe bad. <laughs> there was no packing peanuts or anything. I kind of like those packing peanuts or it, it was kind of minimal, but honestly it looked like it was fun. She turned out all right, unlike the case. I like how her hair was well protected everywhere. Just like the front, the back, everywhere. Like she has a lot of hair. So that was really important for me. Um, I like how easy it was to remove these protection pieces. Some figures I have, like this Ichigo here, which should be over there. I haven't even fully unraveled them yet because they got like this plastic and sometimes it goes like under their skirts and like, into their butthole or something. I have no idea, but like I can't even pull it out. Like, but this one was easy. Um, let's talk about the case packaging next. So. This was the one that was marked as wine, so I thought it had good protection. Unfortunately, that turned out not to be the case, as I saw some holes on the box, which was already giving me some sus signals and, you know, some bad luck, which turned out to be true. And the protection was actually just two large styrofoam pieces on the top and bottom, which sounds like a great idea and looks like a great idea. Well, like when I pulled it out, I was like, this is like some hefty stuff, but it's only in theory. Like, I wish they had um, more like the Miku, like the actual enemy figure type of protection, like smaller pieces um, instead of this large chunk, um, especially like around these edges. That would have been way better. Let's talk about the case actually. So it's really nice in general. The art in the back is fantastic and there's this nice decal on the back, on the stadium or whatever this is that she's sitting on. And this is huge. I don't think it'll even fit in this detail, but you know, it's good on its own. That's why you buy it. Uh, it has USB-C, which is really neat because USB-C is pretty much the standard. This tablet that I'm reading notes on is actually USB-C or e-reader, but the connector kind of sucks. The, when you plug it in, it doesn't go all the way. So I was kind of doing it slowly because I was scared of how fragile this was because it was already broken. So thankfully because of that, I didn't push it in all the way. And thankfully, like it turned out well because you're not supposed to push it all the way because it doesn't go all the way like i didn't even know it could light up to be honest when i bought this i didn't even know what this case looked like to be honest when i bought it out assembly is easily you put the bottom part which is already assembled unfortunately like i wish this part didn't come assembled this edge part and then take the top part just put it on top of it center it and then you put these bird things on it these bird things look really cool just like make it look super fancy, uh, but unfortunately mine are broken and I don't think the 3D printing or however they made these was a good job. Like they must have like cheaped out on it somehow because the quality control is really bad. Yeah, I like how there's like this blue stuff on the base, this decal or whatever wallpaper thing. If these were removable, this would be great because then they could take these out of their packaging. I might have said that already, but oh well. Yeah, if these were removable, there's going these corner parts, this railing thing. That'd be perfect. That's the part that broke for me. All right, so this Miku's one seven scale. It looks just like it. 
Um, I have a bunch of 1 7 scales. I do more of that unopened. I mean, I haven't opened, I haven't opened most of these anyways. The base is brown, which you might think is unappealing, but it matches and it's got this gradient texture to it, which kind of flows smoothly into the tree trunk that's supporting her. And that's really good because for the price, most of the times you get that clear plastic one. Um, you can compare it to this figure I have, like Chino from Gochiusa is the Order of Rabbit, where she's kind of sitting on something similar, but instead her base actually is a lot better in my opinion, because it's got flowers covering the whole thing. It would be nice if there's flowers or some grass specks or something on it, but this is good enough. Like, she's got the similar concept. She knows she's like sitting on a beat stall. So, the, this is the Chung Sam slash Chi Pao version of Miku, which is like the like Chinese dress that they call, I think. Honestly, I'm not even sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's got this pearly look to it, which is really nice. Um, it's really formal and clean, but you know, of course, it's got creases where you'd expect it, like, you know, on pits and whatnot. Like, pretty realistic looking. Other than that, on her body, like she's got like these decals and like these decorations, like the flower thingies here and there, these pins, and yeah, her clothes are just really nice. Like her collar has like some gold accent to it, just gold accents everywhere. Like this figure exudes luxury. Socks are pretty nice. Her shoes have like bow tie that's golden. Everything matches. Okay, so her hair. Her hair has got to be like one of my favorite parts. Like it's super long and detailed. And I like how it drapes behind. Oh yeah, her hair matches her fingernails. Oh wait, no, no, her fingernails matches her hair. That's what it is. Yeah, it like drapes behind it. It's just like you expect it, because Miku's kind of known for her long hair, but you usually see her hair kind of just splayed out, like, you know, in like the twin tails or something like that. But here, it's kind of just, like, it just, like, physics, this is like what you expect it to look like. And the top of the hair is like painted with like this more shinier material. It's like, you could tell like the, tell yeah it's definitely it's got some sheen to it her face her face looks pretty much as expected it looks pretty good um very well defined facial features her eyes are kind of glossy most anime figures i think yeah most of them have like this like matte look to it hers are kind of glossy giving like a doll type of look which might be a little creepy, especially to me, but it matches here because, you know, she just exudes, like, luxury from her, like, shiny, like, golden -y, like, accents and decoration things on her. What is that? It's like a golden, like, golden flower thing on her. I don't even know what that's called, like, chest patch? So another part that I think that I really like about this figure is just the flowers. They are really natural looking, they're not too bright, and they look really realistic, like, I just like how detailed they are. They look just like fake flowers. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. They look like those fake flowers that, you know, you buy at the stores that don't die, so you don't have to water them. Yeah. Even the soil has, like, some texture, you know, the soil inside the pots. Like, I was, like, surprised. I was surprised it wasn't just brown, like, and then just, like, a stem coming out. But it actually had, like, you know, it looked like someone, like, freshly watered it or something. And the pots slash the vases are super cool. Like, they're all different, like, and even one of them looks kind of, like, worn out. Like, this one looks like it's worn out. And for good reason. Because, like, it just looks like a real pot or a real vase. It's been there for a while. It's kind of getting crusty. Um, yeah, the flowers are certainly really cool. Like, they have a lot of variety. Like, some of them, they, this one's like kind of like so old that it's kind of drooped down. And like, it, it's actually droopy. Like, if you poke it, it kind of dangles. So it's kind of fragile. Like, the red one is like really nice looking. The, um, whatchamacallit? The, the things with the pollen inside the flower like they're real i mean they're not real but like they actually like have texture like they they have like a thing coming out the the stamen is that what you call it i have no idea <laughs> the thing that the bees try to get so all in all i'd say this is a great figure for the price 
the base figure, by the way. The case might not be worth it, honestly, but it looks absolutely phenomenal as long as you don't get it broken, which for the most part, I don't think I've seen too many people getting it broken, but I didn't do too much research. I simply Googled this on Reddit and kind of scanned through my figure collection. I saw one guy in some comments saying like he got his broken. I don't mean, I don't see too many posts about people buying this or getting this. I don't think you can even get it anymore. Maybe you can, but yeah, if I would buy it now to anyone watching this, I would probably just get the base one and then if you're getting it from Sugo Toys from Australia, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> but maybe if you live in Australia, I think if you live in Australia, it'd be better. Plus, they sell like this fish bowl looking case or ramen bowl looking thing that looks pretty nice, honestly. So I might have gotten that because it's smaller and it probably has a less chance of breaking. So yeah, that's Miku. Great.